What's up, guys? It's Lou from Unbox Therapy, and today we're taking a look at the Duet 2 from Apogee. If you're unfamiliar with that brand or this product, what you're looking at is a 2-in, 4-out USB audio interface, but this is a very high-quality one. It will take your microphone signal, like the one I'm talking into right now, or an instrument signal, and turn it into a high-quality professional digital recording that you can use for music or for voiceovers or for pretty much anything you would use audio on the internet or on your computer for. It's also very portable. You can take your studio with you. And part of that reason is because it uses a breakout cable for all your connectivity. The breakout cable features XLR inputs as well as traditional quarter inch inputs for things like electric guitars or other instruments. So it's actually quite flexible. Most of your ports are on the back of the device, but there is a headphone port on the front. I'll give you a closer look at those. As we move forward in this unboxing, the very first thing you'll notice when you open up your Duet 2 is just how substantial the device is. It's nice and hefty and it feels very, very sturdy. Underneath the Duet 2 is where you'll find all of the other important components, starting with, as mentioned earlier, this breakout cable. This is what's going to allow you to input all of your different devices. You have two XLR ports on here, balanced connectors, as well as two traditional quarter-inch connectors as well. So there's a little bit of flexibility there. You can input microphones, guitars, and a number of different devices that output analog audio. Of course, the intention here is to turn that analog audio into a very high quality recording. I've been a fan of Apogee devices for a long, long time. In fact, right now I'm speaking into the Apogee One, which believe it or not, was my very first unboxing video. But trust me, you don't want to go back and listen to that or watch that video right now because it is nowhere near the quality of my videos right now, at least in my opinion. Uh, you've also got this proprietary connector. This is what is going to connect this cable to the actual Duet 2 device. If you're interested in pricing and availability on this interface, make sure to check out the description. I will have a link down there. Uh, in terms of the unboxing, you've also got a USB cable. That's important. That's how the interface talks to your laptop or desktop or whatever computer you're going to be using. And the last item inside of the box is your power adapter. This is pretty obvious what this is for, although it does include some international tips. So depending on where you are in the world, you're still going to be operational. I'm going to go ahead and install the North American tip. You've also got this little Velcro strap. I assume this is for cable management. If you're not using some of those other connectors, you could probably use this to keep it from tangling. Uh, here you can see an ad for an accessory. This is the breakout box for this device. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail about that, but it essentially allows for you to have a more permanent installation if you're not using this thing portably. Uh, lastly, you have the user manual, and that's about it besides the main device, which I'll get into right here. Uh, one thing I do want to mention at this point, guys, is I started up a second channel. It's called Uncut Therapy, kind of like Unbox Therapy, but a little bit different. So if you want to check it out and you want to check out video in their uncut unboxing format. I don't really know what other way to describe it. Then you can head over there right now. I'll put a link down in the description and you can take a look at that. It's really just for people who want to see the raw footage, the raw unboxing footage as it is. You have that option now, checking out my second channel, Uncut Therapy. So there's a link down below. You can subscribe if you're into that kind of stuff. Otherwise, you just keep watching over here. No big deal. So anyways, here's the device. And as I said earlier, it's like this solid slab of aluminum. So it's really, really sturdy. And it feels like a very high quality component right at home beside a MacBook Pro or something like that. On the back, you can see your port for power, the proprietary I.O. port, as well as the USB port for transmitting data between, of course, course, your device and your laptop or desktop. And then on the other side is where you'll find your headphone connector. This is a quarter inch connector. So if you've got a standard set of headphones with a 3.5 mil, you'll need an adapter in order to take advantage of that. But if you've got like pro gear, pro headphones, then they very well might have a quarter inch connector natively. Anyway, guys, that wraps up this unboxing video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to leave a thumbs up down below. Thanks as always for watching and I'll catch you on the next one later. No, 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 no.